Imam Abu Hanifa took some lessons under this Imam al Shabi, but there was one problem. As I said before, there was philosophy and argumentation, the science of argumentation in the land. So Abu Hanifa used to sit in some of the circles, and the students and people began, they love to talk about issues and argumentations, you know? Talk about this, talk about that, talk about this school of thought, this sect, that sect, this idea, that idea. And he started to get, get sucked into this ilm al-kalam, philosophy and argumentation. My opinion, your opinion, but I think this, and tackle it from this angle. But then he found that this philosophy was not based on real proof. And all it did was, it hardened the hearts. And I'd like to say, brothers and sisters, this is why Muslims should avoid argumentation as much as they can. Because argumentation, even in a religion, hardens the heart. Those who argue too much, even in a religion, all they care about is, my opinion has to be the correct one. And they heart, the heart in their hearts and these are people far away from being God-fearing. They start backbiting, gossiping, slandering, abusing. That's what happens to these people, brothers and sisters. And science today is all about that. The people who study just science, it's about just proving my opinion, grudges, jealousy, envy. This is what it's all about. Argumentation is the most looked, upon, looked down upon bad character in any Muslim, in Islam.